Hello everyone, pardon me. Um, I am inside the house, much as I like to stay outside, but it is very, very hot. It's about 97 degrees there um, and very humid. So don't complain when you go to the Philippines because Philippines right now is kind of, to me, it's rainy season there and temperature and where I stay, we work where our house is, it's about 88 degrees high or sometimes 85 and the lowest is about 74 at night. So it's not as bad as here in the south. In fact, the other day, last week, when we were trying to um, get all my daughter's prop, uh, my, my, my daughter's things to vacate the, the apartment because she's already finished school. Oh my gosh. The apartment is about, it's hilly. So we go back and forth to the car and getting all those things that she has, she probably has about tons and tons of um, plastic containers that we have to pull out of her house. I cannot believe a one bedroom house can accommodate too much junk, okay? Now we have all of that. In fact, I'm gonna show it to you so to prove to you that it is too much. It over flooded. It occupied our garage, actually, that little one bedroom apartment she has. She has all that in her house. Now, during the process, I almost passed out because I was so dehydrated. I almost like had had some symptoms of heat stroke. So I got me Gatorade, guys, do not drink water. Okay, this is something that I would have to tell you because your body consists of electrolytes, potassium, sodium, and all the other electrolytes. It has to be repleted by drinking something like Gatorade or Powerade. Because if you drink and you're gonna pee out anyway, you're gonna lose some more sodium and potassium which you, you have to have for your brain to function well or your heart to function well. So get that immediately immediately because that was the one that resolved my my um, symptoms so i just kind of put my head down elevate my foot and i was uh i was decommissioned by the way for about one hour and a half but anyway i was back to work again later on but it was not a very um pleasant day for me I thought I'm gonna pass out. So, thanks God, I, I did not. So, learn from my lesson, do not get dehydrated, okay? Get your power aid. Now, before I get too far, thank you by the way for commenting and sharing the videos to other people as well as uh, your ongoing uh, subscription and help and support to this channel. Now, today's topic is a different story again. Um, I have been trying to do this for a while, but anyway, this time I can do it. And this is about expats who's been married or has married to Filipinos, okay? Or Filipinas or Filipinos. When the expats dream does not fit or it does not coincide with the partner's dream. When the dream collides, okay, they do not get along the dream are not the same, husband and wife, okay? I'm gonna give you four scenarios um, to give you an example how those dreams collide, all right? And that's gonna be an issue during retirement. Um, anyhow, guys, one scenario is my friend who's been married for 40 years with her husband, uh, who is an American. That American husband is a very good man. Don't have problem with that but he does not like to live in the Philippines, okay? Every time that they go to the Philippines, the wife has to cater to his needs. And instead of enjoying the family there, she's busy preparing for her, for his food and the uh, accommodation because he cannot just live like a Filipino, okay? You know what I'm trying to say? So she, he has some to have a good accommodation, hotel accommodation, and he is very picky about his food, okay? He does not just eat anything with seasoning in it, and it has to be southern way, 
all right he cannot just eat anything with onion or garlic which we have in the philippines most of our food consists of onion and garlic and sauteed he cannot do that it has to be plain all right now um it is more the food that has a that he has a problem with so with regards to retirement guys she wants to go to the philippines because he's been away for about 45 years and she likes it there but the husband does not like it there and he does not like to live there so what are they gonna do that's a good question right who's gonna give up that kind of the dream okay so is it gonna be my friend or is it gonna be my uh, the husband now another scenario is my filipino friend a girl married to a u.s u.s um, guy he was a nurse for a while nursing for years okay and he wants to be in the tropics but they had been married for about 35 to 40 years also and he really has the dream to go back to the philippines and be in the shoreline coastline near the water which they have a very nice home they're very nice but they're away from the city now this girl she likes to work and she's already in her 70s and she still loves to work but the husband wants to go home after he is uh, he's been retired you know and um she wants to stay here because the children are here in the united states so he goes off there and anyway come to find out it's a sad story guys because she left him there while she stayed here and he developed some sort of ailment it's a cancer of the liver okay cancer of the liver or pancreas which is very it is a very bad kind of cancer to have and after six months of enduring the pain enduring the cancer they, he came to the united states and got diagnosed and in about a few months later after chemotherapy he died but he went to the Philippines and stayed there for one year and had the good best time, stayed in their house and just enjoyed retirement there. But it did not last very long. The retirement only lasted maybe about, I would say, good two years. And one, of, one year of that was they spent that here in the hospital, here in Savannah. And he finally died. So she is here in the United States right now. Um, another scenario is an old foreigner married to a young Filipina okay young Filipina like he is you know in late 60s maybe and then married to a very young Filipina maybe 40 years younger than him so this Filipina is in her 20s maybe or 30s and she wants to have a family on her own and this man who is retar retired and older does not like to have that because he has already had his own children here in the United States. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna give in to this young Filipino who is harping for a baby all the time? And you see that scenario a lot, okay? But to make peace with the wife, I think the husband will have to, um, to endure raising children again. To make the wife happy all right that's another scenario usually the husbands are the one giving up to let, let the, the, the wife have children because I cannot blame the wife okay because she's still young and most of the women in the Philippines especially they want children they want to have their own families so why rob him I mean rob her of her dreams okay so another scenario is when a foreigner married to a young lady now who wants to further her studies and she wants to go abroad and work and he wants to go to the philippines and retire do nothing in the philippines okay i cannot blame him he worked for 40 years in the united states having to endure the rat rat race lifestyle you know and go to the philippines and have a good time he has good pension he has retirement already and he can afford a nice house there 
uh, near the sea. So you cannot blame him. But the wife that he married is very young and he, she wants to be productive because she wants to go abroad and work there and can send some money back home to her family. The scenario I gave you is very common, um, common problem. The number one scenario I had given you is when the husband wants to stay here and then the wife wants to stay in the Philippines, well, you can always split the years, okay? Stay there for six months and then six months in where you are you came from okay now um, the wife if the wife wants to go back to the Philippines before the six months is up let her go and do not shorten up your time um, do not wait six months let her go or vice versa so that you will both be happy in the third scenario the second scenario I have is um, when the husband is older and the wife is younger who wants to have children. Well, if you do not have any vasectomy yet, give one to her. She deserves that. It is her right, okay? Um, give her one child or two, but get you a nanny who can help out with the care. It's very cheap there in the Philippines anyway. Get you a nanny. You don't have to uh, take care of the child, you know, but you have to have um, part of it, but you have to talk with the wife that the main sole responsibility will be on her lap. Okay, because you already have your own kids. Number three scenario is when the wife is very young and wants to go back to America or go to America to work. That's a very hard scenario. I do not have too much of anything to help you out there. Now, before you got married, actually, if you, especially if you are retiree and getting married to young folks like that, you have to talk to them and ask them what is the real, real reason or real intention of getting married even if you are in love with each other you have to really know also what kind of dream they have so that you would be able to put that into consideration before you get married so before you tie a knot if not that's gonna haunt you because that's gonna be a problem later on and i hope guys um you are level-headed enough to really care about each other's issue okay so guys i do not know with this kind of cases you have i do not know if you are willing to give up your dreams for your partner honestly i do not know but with me and my husband i'm so glad that we have the same kind of dream but we have an uh, agreement that when we go to the philippines if we're not happy there and he's not happy then we have to come back and then we're gonna be doing it back and forth now guys Thank you guys for all your comments and I hope you learn from what I'm telling you right now. And you can ponder what's the best way how to get over this kind of issues. God bless guys. Good day.